Hey, Trace, what's up? What's up? Are you joking? You ruined my life! I did? I thought I'd already ruined your life. Never after that boat thing. Take this seriously! Do you know how bad I wanted that? Fame or shame is like an amazing opportunity! You're such a fucking fuck, you really are! You'll get over it. You'll see, I did you a favor. Never! I hate you! Get out the fucking way. Hey, Michael. David. Well, isn't this nice? You didn't tell me we were double dating. Sorry, guys. This burning hunk of love is all mine. <laughs> Brilliant! Steve Haynes, amigo, but you probably knew that already. Sorry, your name tag must have fallen off. Oh, duh! I love it! I, I gotta remember to write that down. <laughs> and to shoot you in your head, you annoying dick. <laughs> Andres, taking notes? This stuff? Whoa! Pure magic! They should put it on my show. Have you seen my show? You mean how to dress like a salesman on a cheap golf weekend at a third-rate country club? <laughs> so, well done with our uh, our friend, Mr. K. My pleasure. Uh, I love helping our government wage war, especially with itself. But you made a mistake. Did I, Cupcake? Why don't you keep your fucking voice down before I close your fucking windpipe? The joke stopped now, pal. You will show me and my team some respect. Maybe you could define team for me. Is that just the three of you? Or the greater FIB? Or the entire government? Because I'm tempted to argue that thus far, we haven't shown a lot of your colleagues a whole lot of respect. Then why don't you start with me, genius? You got it, pal. We have received intel that they're keeping Mr. K at the local agency station. I just dealt with that guy. The agency is stepping up their questioning because of your moronic antics down at the coroner's office. We need to get him out of there before he blabs. I did what Agent Norton said. Then I guess you getting involved with a clapped out old agent who's been living off of past glories was your first mistake. You are my boy now, amigo. Huh. My career depends on this. And that's very important to me. So seeing as we're all boys now, that makes it important to you. Now run along, kids. See, there you go, Dave. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Let's go. The Bureau owns a lot out in East L.S., Covington Supplies off El Rancho. Can you take us there? Yeah, sure. Sounds nice and secluded. Kind of place you'd run an off-the-books operation, huh? So what? So I bet Federal ain't on the deed. That's so. And we all like our Federal government open and transparent. 
Except when closed and opaque suits you better. Hey, I'm just a puppet. You're the one pulling the strings. Nice car. Taxpayers treating you right. I need you to make a couple of calls. Get some people on board. First guy is Franklin Clinton. Hey, I barely know that kid. He's fixing up my car. Call him, or we'll send some G-men to his aunt's house. Okay. Okay. Michael, this ain't the best time. I'm kind of busy. Hey, sorry about that. Listen, you know that thing we talked about before? It's happening. I need you to come to a lot off El Rancho, not far from where we met before. All right, that's cool. I'm in LS anyway. Now, Trevor Phillips. Oh, you're crazy. I ain't calling him. I thought you might say that, so we had him picked up. That's a dumb move, Dave. Real fucking dumb. Just worry about the plan, okay? Getting Mr. K out of the IAA station. Clinton is going to be positioned across the street, keeping an eye on the proceedings. Phillips flies you in, you rappel down, make the extraction. And I'm the best guy you got for this. With you, we've got good leverage. Great! And you brought Trevor in. We're telling him I'm all cozy with the F5B. You'll need discreet support. We'll maintain control of the situation. Discreet? Control? Yeah, good luck controlling discreet Trevor. Yeah, I wonder how controllable and discreet he'll be when he sees the guy who killed me and put Brad in jail. Maybe I'll hang back. Yeah, that might be a good idea. You know what? You better keep a low profile. Yeah, I think I will. See you later. Who's that cagey motherfucker, huh? No, it's another cagey motherfucker, all right? Not you! Hey, T, enough with the faux political bullshit! <sighs> Franklin, come on, you better take off. Really. Shit, I'm good. I ain't bailed. Whoa. Well, am I detecting some, uh, some sort of, uh, son I never had bullshit here, Mikey, huh? Hey, listen. If you want to replace some father figure, you can do a lot better than this fat snake, all right? This fucker would eat his own kids. Like I said, Franklin, deranged. Yeah, and best friend. <laughs> exactly. That's Trevor, my best friend. That's Franklin, the son I always wanted. <sighs> all right, guys, listen, this is the shot. I'm gonna do all the heavy lifting on this job, okay? Trevor, all I need you to do is fly me to the target. Franklin, you're gonna cover me from across the street. We're gonna make these assholes happy, and we're gonna walk away from this thing clean. Got it? I got you. All right. And we do this, and they help us bring Brad. Right? Yeah. We'll talk about Brad later. All right, I gotta change. You better grab a head start. Nice to meet you, homie. Yeah, whatever. The government gimp at last. Eh, bite me. Let's go. All right, let's do this thing. We need to go to the agency headquarters downtown. Your new friends are a riot. No wonder you said sayonara to the old crew. Walking away ain't easy, Trev. Sometimes I guess you gotta make compromises. What happened to dying with a gun in your hand? Life happened. Annoying wife, two kids. Remember them? You get tied down, you can't move anymore. What about your ties to me? To Brad? Those ties are why you got roped in on this FIB instigated suicide pact. For as long as it keeps me amused, I am. I ain't exactly sure it's gonna be amusing. We'll see. You know, you had me at suicide pact. I'm going in on the west side of the tower. Get us in position. I'll drop. The extraction point is on the west side of the building.
You fuck around while I'm out there. I'll climb back up this rope and strangle you with it. Yeah. Next, I'll have this thing so far up your ass, your tonsils will be playing shadow puppets. I don't know what you're talking about. I installed cinema equipment, not surveillance. Grab his other arm. No, no, no. inches deep inside. No. Get the lube. Actually, no, no. fuck the lube. Let's dry dock. The world thinks you're dead, genius. Soon you'll be wishing you were. <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Terminate him. Close this problem right now. Yeah, I can use a little backup here. Get me the station, chief. I'm not finished with Mr. K. 36 flow. I got you. K is high value. Use president. We are taking fire from a... Shit! Oh, shit! What's happening? Extreme prejudice. Oh, no! Hold on! Come on, man! Don't shoot me! Room's clear, T! Hit the witch! Get us out! Cut him down, people! Help! Lead K. I wanted to breathe that cop. Okay? I'm sure. Don't worry. They'll look after you. The things those people did to me. I'm an American citizen. Put her down in the lot, Trevor. Right, let's go. Whoa. 
Where are we? They go easy on him. Thank you. Oh, he saved me. Hey, hey. Not fun? No, 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 no. Hey, hey, I said easy. Uh, oh, come on, give the no. guy a break. Uh. Right, I'm gonna get out of this shit. Ha-ha! <laughs> In bed with the Bureau and a new running buddy. Yeah, he's more of a protege. Yeah, what, you gonna teach him to be old before his time? Yeah, to never grow up. That seems like a good kid. Huh? Michael, uh, look at this, huh? New city, new set of problems, but the idiots, uh, they stay the same. Yep, I guess. All right, Jerry, I'll see you later. Oh, you better believe it, buddy. What is wrong with you smoking in my house? You know, ever since that psychotic pal of yours turned up, you've turned into an even bigger asshole. Thank you. Your support in my difficult times means the world to me. I've supported you. I left everything to come here with you, and still, that crazy bastard turns up. I'll handle it. How? I don't know. Oh, you know what? Just keep him away from me and the children, you low-life, whoremongering asswipe. Did someone say yoga? No, I think she said whoremongering asswipe. Hello, Fabian, darling. <laughs> Namaste, Amanda. Are we ready to practice? Yes. Oh, yes, she's very centered. A regular you oasis of peace and tranquility, this one. I with anger issues and worse friends. No wonder I'm so upset. 
Your toe, please. Namaste. We practice. Miguel, join us, please. No, please, no. No, no. The yoga is for sharing. Oh. Come, come, Miguel, come. Oh. Awesome. Oh. So, Fab, if you can make me as happy and mellow as my wife, it'll be a job well fucking done. We are all on our own journeys, Miguel. Yeah, no doubts. Why is she driving a tank on hers? Perhaps to deal with your hostility, Michael. Now here is good. We have the sun and the moribunda. The asshole. Now we begin to put the asshole to the earth. Yes, we begin each sequence. Tadasana. Yes. Or mountain pole. Un, deux, trois. Mouth and anus are perfectly in line. Show him, Amanda. Un, deux, trois. It is perfect. Now, Michael. In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Oh, ah, my fucking back. How you say? This is uh, funny and sad at once. It's so simple. Come on. In and out with the breath, Mikhail. Very good. Now let it go. We have a very long road to travel with you. Now, in through the bloated nose, and out through those wrinkled lips. There. Strong. Like an erection of your youth. Air through the nose, and out the mouth. It moves! Amazing! In the nose, out the mouth. Okay, Doc? Let it out. If we put him on a six-month kale-only diet, he might just get healthy. Or die. This is gonna have to do. Now we will do something more complicated. Sometimes, when I do this pose, I weep uncontrollably for hours. Oh, wow. You feel that the emotion inside? Let it go. <laughs> Michael, join us. Okay. I feel like I'm channeling bullshit right now. You can breathe, can't you? Exhale. You feel that? The silly man forgets to breathe. There. There it is. Breathe, Mikkel. Let it out. You're turning red. Now think of all the strippers who've been over to pick up your dollar bills. Oh, fuck this. Was that too complex for you? You have picked yourself up, and you will try again. Now, you breathe. How many years of marriage, and this is the first time he's taken an interest in my hobbies? You can breathe, can't you? Let it out, baby. Are you taking this seriously, or is this some elaborate way to get at me? What the hell am I doing? This is still pretty basic. The silly man forgets to breathe. There! Let it go! Breathe, Mikkel. Let it go. 
Keep this up and we might actually have a shared interest. Now, you breathe. I'm waiting for him to turn this into one of his episodes. You can breathe, can't you? Out through those wrinkled lips. Yeah, I'm about to feel some emotions, all right. Remember, Sheldon, do not fear the unknown. We are the unknown. Show us, Amanda. I don't think Michael's up to this. Hmm. He may surprise you. Plank. Plank. Chaturanga. Chata. Yeah. Feel the flow. Mm. Everything mm. is flowing in me. <sighs> Mike, would you? is very weak, Mikhail. Your lungs, they work, yes? Not bad. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Breathe out, please. Isn't this better than robbing, murdering, and being an asswipe? Breathe, please, Mikhail. the backward eye between your thigh. Just suck some oxygen into your lungs. Just exhale, Michael. Good. Take in the air and release it. Hold the anus. Your lungs, they work, yes? Out with the breath. You're sweating, Michael. That's all the impurities coming out. Breathing is almost the most important thing, no? Can you wash that mat later? It's gonna smell all bloody and smoky and Michael-y. <laughs> you have come a long way today, Mikael. Huh? Yes, later you will cry like a baby. Yeah, right. His chakras are completely blocked. Don't worry about him. Show me the downward dog. I'm glad we have helped with your impotence, Mikhail. What'd you say? Your sexual energies have been blocked for too long. Back into my pelvis. Back. What? Back, back. Yes, there you go. Uh, oh, mm, oh, oh, nice. oh, oh! What? Hey, enough of that! We can... ah! <laughs> Yoga is the answer, Mikhail. But what is the question? Uh, why am I such a moron? We are leaving, and we are never coming back! Good! You are alone, you pathetic psychopath! Ugh, fuck you! And that phony French fucking yogi! Ah! Jimmy, you still here? James! Leave me alone! Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You know what? If there was a rape button, I'd be using it right now. Unless you're a faggot and you... Nice TV. Did I pay for that? Yeah, you smashed the other one, didn't you? All right, come on. I want to go for a ride. I got to meet a friend. All right, so I'll go meet him with you. Come on, I want to get out of the house. I'm not going alone. Come on. This is fucking bullshit! Bullshit? Threatening to molest your online buddies is bullshit. They're not my buddies! They're the only people you speak to! So where's your friend? Burger shot? Me. 
Yeah, nice to see the kids are still hanging out at the burger joints. Me and the guys, we'd go down to the diner after class every day. You know, get milkshakes, fries. Ew, please. You know, you're really creeping me out. I'm trying to relate to you. No, you're trying to take me on some nostalgia trip. You're such a cliche. Oh, says the dope-smoking, game-playing, live-at-home world owes him a living millennial. I knew it. I knew it. The mask was gonna slip. The monster's been exposed. The hell are you talking about? The real you. That bitter, vindictive old man. You pretend you're being a father, but you hate me, don't you? I don't hate you, Jim. How many times... I love you. Look, I'm sorry if I don't express that correctly, but... Why do you think we're here together? Because you're scared shitless of being alone? You really have to meet my friend? Yeah, I really do. Then please don't get weird. For once in your life, don't be weird. <laughs> Yo, oh, bro, man, what's, <laughs> man? Up? what's up, doing? man? Good to see you. What are you, turning tricks to pay for this shit, huh? Hey, who's the old man? It's my dad. Oh, all right, Mr. DeSanto. <laughs> yeah, you the kid selling Jimmy pot by the pound? Ooh. <laughs> nah, Jimmy, bro, your dad's funny, man. Come on, do this shit and let's get going. Oh, yeah, you, you got that other thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man, what the fuck? Jimmy. Just, just hold on a second. Oh, all right, all right, later on. Bro. Careful with that. Hey, let's bounce. Bounce. We're bouncing now. Is that what we're doing? Jesus fucking Christ. All righty then. Now what? Can we just get back to the house, please? So, uh, want a drink? I'm driving. Because normally you're such a between-the-white-lines, friend-to-the-pedestrian kind of guy. Fine. Give it here. <laughs> okay, your turn. Maybe when we get home. Ah, who's the square now? <laughs> I'm starting to feel a little weird. You're fine. No. Really, this is not normal. Chill out. You're just paranoid. This is not paranoia. This is totally justified concern. <laughs> you should see yourself. Would you quit being such a drama queen and get us to the house? Stop. I gotta pull over. Oh, who's in there? It's harmless. Bets have been using it for dirt. What? Do you anesthetize me? You fucking shit. I'm protecting shit. you from yourself. Also, I took money from your bank account and I'm moving out. What? All right? You're too crazy, Dad. Come on. Jimmy!
You took a wrong turn a long way back. Jimmy, you little shit. Michael, I think you finally lost your mind. Your recent behavior and the company you've been keeping already had me very concerned. Now you've taken to attacking my Fabian, who was a close friend, and then Jimmy said you took drugs while driving him in your car. Well, we've decided to move out for a while. You promised me you'd change, and you haven't changed a bit. I know you say I always act like I'm in a movie. Well, this isn't that. I think I'm gonna speak to a lawyer. I'm just really confused. Please, don't try to contact us and try not to get yourself killed. Amen. 